This is WNEP's Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Join us for streamside adventures. Days in the field with new and old friends. It's all about making memories and following traditions. And exciting hunting experiences with interesting people. We've captured the beauty and majesty of the great outdoors. And it's all next on Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. I'm Don Jacobs in the Pennsylvania Outdoor Life cabin. Fireplace still running. Of course, we all know that the weather's been on and off and on and off. One thing that surely is on is the trout stocking season. And of course, we visited Schuylkill County to do a little bit of trout stocking. Waterways Conservation Office, Officer Troy Merrill invited us along. So our first outing, stocking trout with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission is here at Locust Lake State Park, Locust Lake. This truck, holding roughly 600 trout, is being ready to be dumped into the lake, and then we're on to a creek. Troy is the WCO for this area. So I have Eastern Schuylkill County, which is east of the Schuylkill River, up until you hit 901 in Cresona, and everything east of 901 is my jurisdiction. Mainly lake streams, tell me. Uh, we have two state parks, Tuscarora and Locust Lake. So those are my larger lakes I have. And then the rest is streams like Little Schuylkill River and Schuylkill River. So Locust Lake State Park open to fishing year round? No, so Locust Lake is stock trout waters closed. So this one will close the third Monday in February and this opens on opening day at 8 a.m. Uh, Tuscarora Lake is a stock trout waters open year round fishing. So people can fish there year round, they just can't harvest trout during that closed period. I thought that was all, all that was going in there. Oh you no. You got more coming in here. Yeah, they can't fit all of the lake plus that on one truck, just a little bit too much. Right. So yeah, this gets, I think the lake gets around 20, 2,800, 2,900, something like that. Wow. <laughs> I'm lucky I got waders that don't leak. I just got new ones. They've le they leaked for three years. <laughs> I never get tired of this. They're just pumping these trout out of this truck into this lake. This is hysterical. And they're in there for you guys to go out and catch. That's hysterical. A lot of concern about water quality and zebra mussels and this and that. I noticed you didn't put the hose in the water. Is that all part of that me mentality now? Yep. So we've always had that process where both the buckets and the hose, we keep them out of whatever waterways that we're going to be stocking, especially when we have different streams um, on that stocking, just because if there's anything invasive, we don't want to transport from a waterway to the other or back to the hatchery. Right now they decontaminate once they go back as well, but really we don't want to have anything into the water other than the fish. So today we're at Locust Lake. We're going to be stocking, we just finished up stocking the lake. Uh, we're going to start stocking the stream. Uh, there's two sections that we stock. Uh, the first section starts at the base of the dam at the outflow and that runs all the way down to Tuscarora Lake. And then the section, section, second section is from Tuscarora Lake down to where it meets the Little Schuylkill River. Beautiful little streams, aren't they? Oh, they're great. They're a great stream. Yes, so sir. how much pressure does this area get from the trout fishermen? Uh, the lake itself is extremely popular. Uh, they have a campground, so it'll, it'll be packed come opening day. And then we do an in-season stocking. I think it's the second Saturday in April, and it's the way people everywhere. I stocked yesterday with my partner over on the Western Schuylkill side. This is the first for the Eastern Schuylkill. And uh, yeah, we invite people to come out and help stock if they're, if they're looking for it. You can go on our website and check our stocking schedule or download our app, Fish Boat PA, all one word. And you can see the stocking schedules for wherever location you're at via your GPS. Volunteers are always welcome, right? Oh, we love volunteers because if it's just, if it's just me and you know, our hardworking hatchery drivers, we can't get the fish spread out efficiently in a time that's allotted. So we really depend on volunteers for this program to be a success. Go ahead, you could do it. You could do it. 
Nice job. These are nice fish. So when you scoop it up, you put it in a bucket, you carry it down there. Tell me the best way to go ahead and get those fish into that stream. So the best way to do it is one, pick an area with a decent amount of water, right? Uh, because we're gonna be tossing those fish in. So you're gonna hold it by the handle, grab the back of the bucket and do a fling maneuver and just stop so the fish go out. And we do that for a couple different reasons. One, like we just mentioned, um, we don't wanna put that bucket in the water. Two, uh, that invigorates the fish and they spread out quickly once they get to that, they hit that water and they go. Um, otherwise, if you just dump them in, they can sit there in the sediment and a lot of times they'll get sediment in their gills and you know, we lose fish that way. So that's why we encourage people to uh, toss, not dump. So Troy, what are you doing here? You're loading some buckets up and taking them down? Yeah, we're going to take four, I'm going to put them in the back of the truck, and we're going to run them down to the creek, so we can't get the truck down that road. Yeah, so your, your vehicle's money. good, leave everybody else up yep. here? Yep, yep. You stock a stream, there. you don't. You can't fish for anything, whether you say you're bass fishing or anything, right? Yep. Those are the rules. So the rules are, and the commission did a really good job of defining upper and lower limits of streams the past two years. So now, during that closed period, uh, it was February 21st this year at Monday, up until opening day, zero fishing within those defined limits. So, for example here, well the whole thing's closed because we defined it all the way from here, all the way down through Tuscarora to where it meets Little Schuylkill. So you can't fish anything in there. But if it's another river, like Little Schuylkill River has defined upper and lower limits, you're allowed to fish outside of those. However, trout is still catching immediate release. Motion. Were there any big ones? No, I didn't see any. No. <laughs> so we have a, a single statewide opener, which is going to be the first Saturday in uh, April, but we also have the Saturday prior is going to be our Mentored Youth Day. Um, so this year you have to have an adult angler uh, with a license and a trout stamp, and they can have a mentor or multiple, multiple young children. Um, they have to get the voluntary mentor permit uh, to fish um, and the kids are allowed to harvest adults can't harvest that day at all um, but the kids are allowed to keep two and all that information on the website so all the information is on the website you can go get one of our summary guidebooks wherever you can purchase a license they have them uh, as well as our app i really encourage people because everybody tends to have a cell phone now grab our app and then you can also see wherever you're at you can see the regulations specific to those waters that you're going to fish so there you go, one stream down, one lake down. They've got just about a month now to get the rest of them in there, less than a month, and they're out there stocking every single day. Why don't you volunteer and give them a hand? We're gonna take a short break, but when we come back, we're gonna switch gears and talk about deer and antler measuring.